Today's show is sponsored by the ABV Barrel Shop. The ABV Barrel Shop is located in the St. Louis metro community of Arnold, Missouri. The ABV Barrel Shop is focused on one thing, single barrels. Best of all, you can try before you buy. Head over to abvbarrelshop.com to sign up for their email and text distribution so you know what they have in stock, what classes are coming up, and who from the industry may be coming in to visit. The ABV Barrel Shop, it's where single barrels live. We are also sponsored by The Bar to Go. The Bar to Go offers traveling mini bars that are no bigger than a small purse or toiletry bag. Best of all, they are fully customizable so you can create the perfect piece that is unique for you. If you own your own business, what a fun and unique way to promote what you do. Check them out online at thebartogo.com. That is the number two in the bar to go. If you have wholesale questions, call my friend Isabel Clark at 504-481-1297. Finally, we are sponsored by the Neely Family Distillery. NFD is a family-owned business that keeps ringing up awards in the spirits world. Head to Sparta, Kentucky to experience the family history, award-winning spirits, and meet the Neely family. Check them out online at neelyfamilydistillery.com. Now, on to the show. Let's drink! Welcome to the Bourbon Daily, the podcast about everything bourbon delivered to you every day of the week. Today on the show, we discuss how Old Granddad 114 was ahead of its time. My name is McNew. Please join me in welcoming my co-host, Steve Akeley, along with our special guests, Nate Weidegger and Kathy Cool. Hey, gang. What's up? Hey, guys. Hello. Hey. Hello. So, yes, we're going to be talking today about Old Granddad. Uh, it's high proof for for the time. I mean, you're looking at, uh, you know, a, a, a product that was around a lot of 86 proofers and maybe 100 was considered high proof at the time. And uh, Old Granddad 114 uh, was, you know, it was addressing the needs of the people who liked high proof before that was a thing, which is very much a thing these days. But uh, we'll talk about that and what are their visionaries uh, that, uh, that decided to go with us such a high proof. And I wonder even how they came up with that. I don't know. We, we don't no, we, we can only speculate, but we'll get to that after the break. For right now, Kathy Cool says there's something she want to talk about. What is that, ma'am? So, recently, a man passed away after living 70 years in an iron lung. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I saw that guy. 70 years. Do you have someone that would just pull that plug or trip over that plug for you so that you don't live 70 years lying flat on your back in mm -hmm. an iron yeah. lung? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, what I think, it? uh, I don't know. He, he lived, uh, again, I, I got to redefine what a, a good life is, but I think for him, I don't think he hated his life. I say you, you could see interviews with him on YouTube and stuff. I mean, he was around, he studied and became a, a, an actual attorney. I think he actually even had a case where he went in and I apparently, I thought iron lung, you never get out, but I, apparently he was able to get out. Really? A little bit. Yeah, yeah. They, they, he got dressed up in a suit uh, for when, when he was in court, and I, I mean, I, he couldn't like sit up or anything, but they had some sort of apparatus that allowed him to be upright uh, when he was in court, and I, I think he just did it one time. I think he might have done some other lawyer things, like send letters. You know, lawyers yeah. don't spend a whole lot of time in court. Certain ones do, but uh, most he, of them. Yeah, no. he became an attorney. He wrote a book. He did yeah. a lot of stuff for just laying there. But yeah. I would absolutely please pull that plug immediately. I don't want to do this. Thanks. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. Quality of life is a, a big thing and that doesn't, that doesn't sound good to me. But again, if someone thinks that's good by them, that it's up to every individual to define for themselves, I would say so. But for me, yeah, pull, pull the plug. Uh, uh, it's been a good run wherever I'm at. Uh, right. Um, yeah. Yeah. How about you, Nate? I'll probably make it longer than me, so 75 years. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't think I was going to get past 40, so, you know. Right, right. I mean, congratulations. That's pretty good. He yeah. had a good run, for sure, for sure. 70, 70 yeah. years. and Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, look him up. I don't know. But if you just put the guy in the iron lung, there'll be, there'll be stuff on I was, I just discovered him, like, last year. Uh, I saw something like on Instagram and then I was like, they had like a video. So I thought, I wonder if there's anything else out there. And there was a bunch of stuff on YouTube. So 
Yeah, he was That's my really, favorite TV channel, YouTube. Such an interesting guy. So interesting. Yeah. But no, yeah. I think if I was ever in that situation, I would just like tattoo, do not resuscitate across my chest and hope somebody trips and pulls it for me. Don't uh, want to do it. <laughs> no, no. Well, there you go. On that note, guess what, gang? It's time to drink. What is everyone drinking? We'll start with Nate and his rare appearance here. Hasn't been on the, the Bourbon Daily for a while. Too good for us. A little, us, while. A little yeah. bit. Uh, all right, I've got a new new 5280 pick. It's an old Forester pick. So oh, nice. uh, we uh, chose the 100 proof versus the uh, higher proof. I think that the lower proof old Forester picks of recent are much better. Okay. He talked over that. his own bottle pop. Yeah. But he had some uh, noise. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. There was noise there. That was actually pretty good. I was talking, though. You're right. <laughs> yeah. 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 Let me put it back in and try again. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, that sucked that time. Yeah, that did suck. Yeah, yeah. he he learned. A he hasn't been. To, he's out of practice. He hasn't been on it. Right, so this is what happens. Yeah. KK, what do you got? Well, I have an old granddad one fourteen. Oh, oh, nice. I got this at the Legends event. It was ah, his. Okay, that's nice. Very cool. Oh, holy hell! Okay. Oh. Okay, that's decent. It's decent. It's better than Nate's. It, it's it's good. Enough. Those those while well, huge corks aren't uh, aren't known to be great cork pops. But, but uh, so you got out of it all that you could, I guess. I got an old jet here, old jet from Neely. Let's see what we got here. Lots of squeak, not a lot of pop. Kathy has the lead. Last but not least is McNew though. McNew, what do you got? Come on, McNew, you can take this. I don't know. I have some Heaven Hill. It's about half gone, so we'll see. No. 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 I think that's each new McNew, so I'm not in last place. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Scored last. Talked over what was better. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. <laughs> All right. We'll Cheers. take a quick break. And then when we come back, we'll talk about uh, old granddad 114 and the fact it was just out there. It was uh, it was uh, coming in at the high proof back when high proof wasn't a thing and uh, it survived and it still continues to be that proof today. We'll do that in just a few. Okay, let's talk about the people that make these shows happen. First up is the Stave and Thief Society. Via their in-person class at Moonshine University in Louisville, Kentucky, the Stave and Thief Society is the place where you, a bourbon enthusiast, can expand your knowledge and emerge an executive bourbon steward. In 2017, I completed my executive bourbon steward certification. It's the most comprehensive bourbon certification available and connects you with an expansive network of bourbon enthusiasts and professionals. Check out the full listing of in-person and online certifications and join the society today by enrolling at staventhief.com. Speaking of executive bourbon steward certification, the ABV Barrel Shop in St. Louis, Missouri has developed a unique partnership with the Stave and Thief Society to offer a preparatory class to assist you in getting your executive bourbon steward certification. This prep class costs only $25 and is available to take live or online via Zoom. Graduates of our class receive a coupon code good for 15% off your executive bourbon steward certification held in Louisville, Kentucky. This saves you almost $90. Additionally, you can collaborate with fellow attendees to split travel costs when you go to Louisville. If you're interested in signing up for the class, simply head over to abvbarrelshop.com and check out the classes and events page. Last but not least, we are sponsored by Neely Family Distillery. Royce Neely is the 11th generation distiller and one of America's oldest distilling families. A visit to Neely Family Distillery takes you through family history, where you can see all the artifacts and newspaper clippings through the years from this family that started distilling in America after James Neely arrived from Northern Ireland in 1740. Today, Royce Neely and his team are crafting some of the best spirits in America. Their bourbon and absinthe offerings keep winning top honors in the spirits competitions. Recently, their absinthe made history as the first platinum winner in the absinthe category at the San Francisco Spirits Competition. Neely Family Distillery is definitely a bucket list destination if you are a bourbon fan. Learn more about their spirit offerings, visiting their facility, and the awards they have collected over at NeelyFamilyDistillery.com. Lock 
lock it in and rip off the knob. <laughs> the ABV network. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, Kathy, go ahead. Oh, I thought that was it. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to the Bourbon Daily. You are. Welcome back to the Bourbon Daily. Today we're talking about Old Granddad 114 and were they future tellers? Yes, yeah. It's kind of like everybody says like the Simpsons and stuff like that. Maybe Old Granddad was, uh, they were able to foresee the future. And they thought there's going to be a time when people are loving whiskey neat and they want higher and higher proof. And, you know, 114 is no slouch. Uh, I mean, uh, well, that's, a, that's a proof that uh, has some oomph to it, even though old granddad drinks pretty easy. But, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's pretty solid. So, I don't know. What do you guys think of 114, first of all? You fans of that one? I am a fan of that one. Yeah, I think it's great in cocktails. Well, it's a great great value, right? Too? Yeah. It's a, yeah. It's a cheap one. Remember when they said it was going to be discontinued a few years ago? Mm -hmm. The big, big rumor going around, and then they came out and said, "No, it's not." And then you figured when they when Beam came out and said, "No, it's not getting uh, uh, discontinued," didn't you figure that? Yeah, they'll won't discontinue it for like two months, but then they'll, they'll discontinue it. It was always the mark of uh, yeah, but then they didn't. It's still out there. So, and what could happen was we're going to discontinue it, so everybody runs out and buys a whole bunch they of did. it. Oh, they did. It's been. selling good. Let's keep it. Yeah. Yeah. you gotta scare people into buying stuff sometimes we haven't had one of those in a while that seemed to be uh that that was a bourbon thing uh 2016 2017 2018 in there where you know hey we're getting ready to discontinue this everybody runs yeah. out and gets all of it we haven't had a good one of those in a while i wonder why it's still solid okay. it was, of those, what do you think was the most memorable the heaven hell heaven hill yeah yeah. yeah and then it comes back out like what different <laughs> right like like it's gone it's you'll never see it again we've discontinued it we don't have the stock to do that and then like a year later also they come out with a new product that's a year older by the way uh and uh and like four times the price tag it's yeah. like wait a minute wait a minute. Let's, let's erase that previous year and let's give us the old stuff back that we were happy with at 12 bucks and it's like no 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 <laughs> no, we can sell this for more. Yeah, it was, it was fuck you guys, and we still bought right. it. <laughs> yeah, and I, I, I don't know where that one stands uh, because. I don't know what's going on with that because, you know, for a while, then it, it became, it, I, I was anti it because I love the, the, the old six year and I was mm -hmm. like, I'm never going to buy this. And then, then you couldn't find it. No, you know, people, so people were buying it, but now I see, I, there's like a, a store right up the road from me. It has, I don't know, probably 15 cases of it on the floor right now. I mean, mm -hmm. it's pretty readily available at this point. So I don't know what's going on with that. Is that a good sign or a bad sign? Do you think? Of Having the like seven year? Of the seven year, yeah, well, I, I got a bunch of it. Is that is that good or bad? I don't know. Probably not good. I, I don't think it's good either. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like that means Heaven Hill's got a bunch of seven year old stock say, that they're willing to. I, uh, I was at a liquor store the other day, a big chain liquor store, and uh, uh -huh. they had it limited one per. Really? Oh. Hmm. I, mean, I didn't buy hmm. one. Hmm. They had that. Uh, yeah, limited one per. Oh well, it's good. If you need me to hook you up. Let me know. Let me know. I got a contact. Yeah, and that's it right there. There it is. Yes. So, yeah, that's interesting. But uh, old granddad one fourteen, you know, it's solid. Um, it, it and I don't know why. I, I mean, if you if you go back at all the dusty events we did, we never had, we did a one fourteen dusty event, but that was the only one that was over a hundred proof. And all the ones that we did, there were some other ones that were a hundred yeah. that we did, and all when we were doing all those regularly. But everything else was. 86, 80. How long yeah. has Baker's been uh, skew? Baker's? Uh, since 92. Yeah. That's yeah. always been a hot one. And I, I just feel like Beam always puts out a higher pre product. Knob, they put that mm -hmm. out for a long time. Baker's, Booker's. Yeah. It just seems like their model is a little bit higher proof than some. It's just kind of interesting. Right. Is their entry, what, I mean, their entry proof was lower, though, originally, right? So. Yeah. Yeah, but you know a lot of that the the products that you're talking about uh, come under Booker No, who liked higher proof. So you know the ninety yeah. the stuff from the, the Bookers and Bakers and all that that's all Booker No stuff, and he clearly yeah. liked higher proof whiskey. Now uh, Old Granddad was before him. Matter of fact, it was a brand of National Distillers. I don't know if it has a history before that. It so, does. Okay, so so how, well I don't know about the one the one fourteen. I mean I know old granddad goes back to the eighteen hundreds. Yeah, the eighty eighty proof and ninety proof definitely have been around. Right, I don't know about the one fourteen. I know it went back 
to national under in like the 60s and that, but I don't know history before that. But Kathy, have you looked up where it does? Well, it was introduced in 1840. Well, old granddad 114 or old granddad? I think it's just old granddad. Oh, probably just the old granddad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's different. Yeah. I, bet, I bet the 114 didn't come on until around Booker. I, I would just think, yeah. like, uh, yeah. I would think it would just kind of match the profile and they said, hey, let's put this at 114. Yeah. Yeah, be. we're probably looking at the same Wikipedia page, Kathy, because I looked for a 114 and it came off with old granddad. And yeah. I was like, oh, right, that's right. Great. Yeah. But it's a fantastic it's holiday cocktail, like for Thanksgiving, Christmas time. Like, I've gone to several parties where they've used that for uh, a cocktail. It, just, it does well for some reason around the holidays, just that mm -hmm. proof wintertime cool it's, weather. it's nice and like a punch like if you're going to do a big yeah. holiday punch like it doesn't yeah. get watered down it, you know it's there like i Agreed. think it's a good about situation yeah Agreed. yeah and at the price point you don't mind putting it into a punch or whatever or so the whole bottle right. in <laughs> or the whole bottle in yeah yeah yeah, the uh, the the wife has one of those. Uh, she puts uh, some flowers in. She was like, "What's what's a good wide mouth bottle uh, that still is bourbon though?" And I'm like, "Well, it's got to be OGD 114. That's a, that's the one." Yeah, so that's it's also good for home decor. That's a, that's go. a hot tip from the Bourbon Daily right there. So. <laughs> where there where, where everyone <laughs> comes for their home decor. Tip. Oh yeah, yeah. You, the, the, there's finally a listener who's been listening to us for, since the beginning just for a home decor tip, uh, and then we just gave one. Well, boom! Here it so is. I, yeah. I used to spray paint mine like certain colors. Like if I was like in a silver mood, I would spray paint my bottle silver and put flowers in them. Or that mirrored right. paint. You can you can add to them. They don't have to look mirrored like paint. Them. Okay, okay. Yeah. That sounds good. Well, so there you go. There's multiple tips. Crafting All right. <laughs> Crafting with bourbon. Crafting with bourbon. There you go. On that note, we'll wrap this one up as we always do by talking about where people can find us. KK, we'll start with you. Where can people find you? You can find me on Instagram at KK Cast Strength. All right. Nate. Uh, you can find me at 5280 Whiskey on Instagram and also Hidden Barn Whiskey on Instagram. All right, McNew. I'm on Instagram at McNew ABV. All right, for me, I'm an easy guy to find. I'm at Steve Akeley on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I've got a website, steveakeley.com. We've also got a company website, that thing's abvnetwork.com. Check it out. Everything that we do is out there. Previous shows, blogs, so much more. abvnetwork.com. Also, exciting new one to announce, Bourbon Palooza. We have a website called bourbonpalooza.com where... Uh, we put all of our events and things like that. You want to see what we got going on? We do have a flagship uh, event called Bourbon Palooza, and then everything that we do falls under that, too. This is brand new to the ABV Network, so check it out again, bourbonpalooza.com. Come by and see us, the ABV Barrel Shop, the place where you can try before you buy. Check us out online, abvbarrelshop.com. McNew, anything else to say before we get out of here? I would like to remind the audience to please give us a five-star review. That includes comments. It helps new people find the show, which is very important to us. And if you like what we're doing, we ask that you please visit our Patreon page at patreon.com slash the ABB network. Great job today, gang. For audience, we'll have a brand new show for you tomorrow. Looking forward to that. Until then, take care, everybody. See ya. Bye. Bye. Peace. Before we let you go, let's talk about one last thing, the ABV Barrel Shop in the St. Louis community of Arnold, Missouri. The ABV Barrel Shop is focused on a couple of things. First of all, single barrels. We are the place where single barrels live. We go to distilleries, taste through the whiskey, select the best barrel, and have it shipped to our store where we present it to you, our customers, by allowing you to try before you buy. We're also known for the classes that we have in our education center in the store, as well as the events we have with industry professionals from the bourbon business. If you are in the St. Louis area, please come by and visit us at 6 Fox Valley Center in Arnold, Missouri. Or at a minimum, at least sign up for our email and text distribution so you know exactly what's going on in our shop over at abvbarrelshop.com. This is Steve Akeley, owner of the ABV Network, signing off. We thank you for listening to our programming and truly appreciate your support. The Bourbon Daily is part of the ABV Network. For more information or to become a sponsor, please visit abvnetwork.com. Thanks for listening and cheers. This has been a Steve Akeley production.